Girl, what in the heck have you gotten us into? Trouble. I don't know if I like <laughs> this. So right now we are in the Jeep and we are on our way to an undisclosed location to pick up the package or packages. And this is like straight out of Chelsea's dreams. We have to take a right. We have to take a right up here? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get over in the right lane. But uh, here girl, you wanna take the camera and let them know what's going on? Okay. Um, so basically one of my friends got stuck with a bunch of rescue kitties and she needs someone to watch them for just a little bit. We're not adopting, okay? First of all, we're not adopting. I w I, right now I need you to make me a promise <laughs> that we are not gonna be adopting. I would be down one day, but right now we don't need to. Not right now. Okay, we're not adopting. But she does need somebody to watch them for a little bit, so we said that we would, if we had to, we could watch them. So we're gonna go pick them up and I think spoil them a little bit because they're rescued, so they just deserve a little pampering and then introduce them to the boys. We picked them up. We're on our way back home, so the boys are gonna be able to meet them and we're gonna you know, play with them, have a good time, make an awesome video for you guys. Uh, so I'm not gonna record too much on the way home, but I'll give you guys a nice little preview of what they look like. They're so cute. You guys wanna hear a funny joke? I told Trevor there were two. And now there's four. There's four. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them all in there. So there's a pure gray one. There's one right here. It's like calico, but still a tabby. So it's got its stripes. She's like the cutest one She's by far. Beautiful. There's kind of like, I don't even know what kind of kitty that is. And then there's a black and white one back in this corner. We got four of them. I can't believe so it. So sweet. Well, we made it home. Oh my goodness. Look, Look at, at these black guys. Spot on his Look at these guys. So there are four in, oh yeah, you can see all four. The gray one, this black and white one, he's pretty cute. This one's my favorite. They're all named after Game of Thrones characters. <laughs> <laughs> this one right here is my favorite by far. And then we've got, is that a tabby back there falling asleep? Yeah. So what we're gonna do, cause we don't wanna culture shock them too much, is we're gonna go inside and we're gonna put the boys away. So Coda's gonna be in the backyard, Cooper's gonna be upstairs in the bedroom, we're gonna shut the door, and then we're gonna get these guys out, we'll tell you guys their names, give you guys their story and everything that's going on here, and then we'll let them kinda play, get a little accustomed to their new surroundings, and then we'll bring the boys in, and we'll see what the boys think. So Coda has met a cat before, right? Yes, he used to cuddle them in my mom's garage. <laughs> oh, gosh. Cooper has never interacted with a kitten or a cat or anything before, so this should be interesting. Let's head inside and get these guys put away. Coop, coop, coop. If only you knew what was going on out there. I, I can't wait to see your reaction. He knows something's going on. Don't you dare open that door. Cooper, come here. Come on. We're going to be going upstairs. You're not going out there either. Coda, look, they both know that something's going on. Come on, Coda. We're going to go this way. Let's go, buddy. Good boy, good boy. So Coda's gonna go outside. I'll probably let Cooper go potty real quick because he's gonna be very excited about this. So we're gonna let both of these guys outside. Coda's out there, he's a good boy. Coop, now it's time for you to go upstairs. Come on, buddy, let's go. Let's go, upstairs. Coop, 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 Coop. Upstairs, let's go. Hey, come on, come on. It's a, a very exciting time, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cuddle time, it's bedtime, let's go, woo! All right, buddy. I'm sorry, you're gonna hear lots of noises downstairs. You're gonna hear lots of excitement. We're gonna come get you in a minute, okay? Be a good boy. Stay up here. Don't relax too hard because you're gonna have to get excited. All right, buddy? You be good. I'm gonna see you in just like 15 minutes or so. The beasts have been contained. Oh, God. Are you, oh, they're so talkative. Hello. Oh, look at all of them. Should we let them in the grass in case we need to go potty? Because we don't have a litter box. We could do that. Yeah, we need to go get a litter box. Okay. We're going to go get a litter box. We're going to get tons of toys and stuff like that. That might, we <laughs> might put this into two episodes. This one I think is going to be mainly just like introducing them to the house and meeting the boys. And then next week's episode, since we're going to be watching them for a little over 24 hours, next week we're going to go out, we're going to get them fun toys and stuff like that. So we're, we're definitely going to send all these guys back with toys. All four of them are going back, am I right? Yeah, right. All right, here we go. Hi, Hi, They're so cute. Come on, kitty. Come on. Of course. Of 
course that one's going to come out first. She Our favorite. Arya's brave. Just thinking about what the, the world looks like to them. Like they're they're so tiny. They don't know much yet. Do you know how much how old they are? Uh they think they're about six weeks, but given their life up to this point, I don't know if they've ever like seen grass. I right. Come on guys. This is so cool. Just thinking about what it's like Look in at their her eyes. eyes. She's got like Egyptian like coal eyes. See them? Yeah. Hi, baby. Hey, kitty, 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 kitty. She's so cute. So she's what they called a, a calico tabby. So she's got the, the crazy colorings, but she also has all the stripes. She's super, super pretty. So they just posted these guys on their rescue site, which we're going to talk about that in a minute. We're going to link it down in the description. But um, they just posted them earlier today, and she already has some hits. So she's definitely the uh, the popular one of the group, I guess you could say. There, little buddy, come on. Here we go. Oh. Hi, baby. Oh! Whoa! Okay. Adventure cat. What in the, the world? Are you the clean kitty? <laughs> see him in there. <laughs> okay, you guys, you guys have to see this. He is straight up knocked out in there. Not a care in the world. He was just transported away from the only humans that he knows. Oh no, it's starting oh, no. to rain. Oh no, get inside, get inside. Oh, oh, he's he's jumping on me. Jon Snow, here, you gotta get. Okay, here, I'll carry you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can we get Mr. Snow back here, please? Oh. <laughs> the kitties are ready. <laughs> We've got the They're gray one. Oh, towards oh, the house. No, <laughs> no, don't, don't go out on the road. Don't go out on the road, go this way. Go this way, little one. <laughs> So small compared to you. She's so cute. Hi, baby. On second thought, I don't know how good of an idea the garage is. Aria is in the So we're just gonna put you guys back in your crate and we're gonna bring you guys inside the house. Come here, baby. Oh, oh. Chelsea's double fisting cats. It's a dream come true. Okay, good job. Let's get them in. We're gonna get them inside. I'd feel much safer if they were inside. I think we found a good spot for them. It took a little bit of effort to get them all riled up. Look at Aria right here. She's so cool. You're the best, Aria. Don't tell your, your siblings, okay? What we have here, there's Aria in the back right. That is Bran. Bran. This is Sansa. And then the black and white one is Jon Snow. And uh, we don't really watch Game of Thrones, Sorry, but those guys. are all names from the Game of Thrones show. A lot of you guys will probably recognize that. Now, Chels, do you want to tell these people how these guys were rescued? Because they were just rescued a couple of days ago. Uh, so they were rescued three or four days ago. Uh, they think they're about six weeks old and they were rescued out of a bucket on like the side of a road and they were covered in fleas and ants and one had ants in its eyes and had to be treated um plus get all like the bugs picked off of them and make sure that they were okay all because somebody didn't want them so they just threw them away in a bucket that is so absolutely horrifying i i can't even imagine and having that much hatred they're not even like for kitties cats. yeah these guys are so sweet so we were more than happy to watch them for 24 hours <laughs> We know that you guys had been wanting to see an episode with kittens where Cooper and Coda met the kittens and stuff like that. And we also wanted to show that like, first of all, rescuing kitties is a great way to do it or rescuing animals in general. You don't have to go out and shop, even though technically that's what I did for Cooper. And didn't you do that for Coda? I believe you got him from a breeder, right? He was, well, on a farm. If you're going to get them from a breeder, make sure it's a reputable one. Don't ever go to like a chain and like a, a strip mall or something like that. Or if you can, you can get absolutely fantastic animals by rescuing them and giving them a home. Holy crazy kitty. Oh my goodness. You're like Spider-Man. Oh, are you okay? They're going to be okay, right? They have nine lives, he just used one of them. So the people that were helping out here, they have a whole like 
cat and kitten saving organization and they save all kinds of kitties. I think they said right now they have like 30 or something like that. They have 30 in their possession and 39 that they've rehomed this summer. This, yeah, just this summer. So we're going to link them down in the description if you guys want to check them out. If you're not from the Orlando area, then I'm sure you can find other kind of similar organizations in your area. But definitely keep an eye out for that kind of thing because these people, I mean, they're saviors. These kitties would have been dead. They were on the side of the road. They would have been no more. And they went out and they saved them. They gave them a home and now they're rehoming them to other people. So I just, I think it's really, really cool. And uh, these guys are the best. Guys are seriously crazy. Jon Snow, what are you doing up here? I'm going to go push him off. Watch her. <laughs> <laughs> Aria, that was mean. Why she would you do that? Why are you so, how are you so talented? <laughs> <laughs> Don't strike the camera. You're awfully cute. She's the reason they were rescued. Yeah. Because she's very vocal. Yeah, they said that she loves to like roam around and have big spaces. And so she was meowing very, very loudly when she was left in that bucket next to the dumpster on the side of the road. So. Um, I think our first thing is we have to get a litter box, right? They've got yeah, to be able to go potty. So I think we're going to put them back in their little carrier and then we're going to go grab a litter box really quick from like Target or something like that. And um, we'll get them a nice little spot to go potty. And then we'll bring them back. We'll play with them a little bit and we'll see what the boys think. What are you doing? Why, why are you all the way up here? This is... These, these aren't monkey bars. Oh, she saved it. Cats are so crazy. Isn't it that you like, you can throw a cat and they'll always land on their feet? On feet yeah. Or if they fall, they land on their feet. I, I've, sometimes I watch YouTube videos of like cat compilations of them like falling huge distances. Or, I feel like you've never had a cat, so you always thought that was a rarity, but with cats, that just happens all the time. Really? They're just yeah. like big and crazy and kind of clumsy, but also kind of insane. And really cute. Don't grab my lens. <laughs> Look at this Brand. guy. What are you doing, Brian? She's coming for your Yeah. She likes to be the center of attention. Her I've got a feeling you and fight. yeah, you and Cooper are gonna really get along. All right, let's go get a litter box. Oh. Can you be bothered to walk? Okay. We got one making a run for it. Okay, that's two in there. Let's go, Aria. Oh, don't you even think Look about her. it. She's just like, okay. <laughs> this is my life now. And Jon Snow all the way in the back. Here, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. What is he doing? I can't. I got a great view from up here, boys. I'm really enjoying this. Woo! Gotcha. Good job, girl. You're naughty. Where to take one for the team? You're naughty. He's a really cute one, too. Oh, he's partying. Is he? I can feel it. I can't really hear it, though. Here, put your ear down. Pet him. He likes you. He purrs when you're around. Aww. Thanks, buddy. I'm glad you trust me. He just stopped again. Are you serious? It's you, yeah. Let's see if we... That's weird. Don't, don't be trying to work me, Jon Snow. I know your game. You're trying to be all sweet and lovely to the girl, and then you start purring when I come around and make me feel like I'm wanted. I know what you're playing, dude. He's so cute. We gotta get going. <laughs> Why is it always Literally, it's, it's always this one. Here we go, come on. You are a troublemaker. I'm not gonna introduce the pups to them yet. We wanna go get a litter box, let the kitties go potty and stuff first. But uh, Coop, Coop's on the trail. I don't know if Coda's, Coda, have you noticed yet? Have you noticed? I don't think you have. Coop is definitely on the trail. He is high strung as all get out right now. The first thing he did was run over here. Looks like he's going back. I don't think he can figure out what it was though. He came out of upstairs. Like a yeah, he, he almost fell down the stairs. He was trying to get down here so fast. Okay, so boys, it's still a secret. The secret's safe for now. They still don't know what's going on. So we're gonna go get a litter box 
and we're gonna bring them back. We're gonna let them go potty. We're gonna play with them a little bit, and then we're gonna introduce them to the boys. It should be fun. Coop, you ready? Cody, you ready? Let's go to the store. So, girl, the plan is a quick, fast mission. We're gonna go in, we're gonna get like a little litter box, we're gonna get some kitty litter. We might pick up a couple of toys. I'm planning, I say we go to PetSmart tomorrow, and I say we get some like cool toys. I wanna send them back home with some cool toys, maybe even a cat tower or something. Coda's gonna be so sad. I don't know, you guys will see that in the next episode, but this is just gonna be a quick mission. All right, girl, you're the expert in this. I've never, never had a cat before. I actually, I think I was, I think I was allergic to cats when I was younger. I don't think I'm allergic anymore. We'll find out. Are these cute? Those are kind of cute. A little Halloween mouse? We could get those. Like I said, tomorrow's going to be the big toy day. These are little things to hold them over. Oh, okay. We need kitty food for small kitties. This guy up here is pretty cute. What do you think? He I'm's healthy kitten. Is I'm's pretty reputable? I know blue is really good. That's good dog food. Adult, adult, adult. They don't have any kitten. Maybe Shoot. there's like a kitten section. Maybe we're just not there yet. No look on anything else in this aisle. But we did find the pan. Litter. A scoop. We need a scoop. A scoop. And then litter's on the other side. We got the matching scoop. This looks like a necessity. And if all else fails, Coda will like it. <laughs> look how funny these are. Look. There's eggs and bacon, banana, fortune cookies, sushi. Those are so cute. Oh my goodness. How many different kinds of litter do you need? So some cats are allergic. Some people like to only use paper. Seriously? Chelsea, look what I found. That's so cute. It's a kitty in a basket, I think. It's a Is Toto. It? Oh, it's a Toto in a basket. Okay. So well, it kind of looks like a cat from this angle. Cute. Sorry, Toto. You're going to chill here at the kitty aisle. You do three curls. Come on. Curl it. I can't, I, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. This thing is... So how long does something like this last? I mean, I don't know about with four cats. With two, that is like two fills, so maybe a week. Oh, okay. This is seriously interesting. I don't think I've ever known anybody who owned a cat. Really? Yeah, this is like all new territory to me. That actually smells pretty good. You want to come do a little sniff test for before now. it gets used? It smells good for it now. It does. I think we have trash bags that have like the scent in them, so it kind of yeah. it kind of smells like that. All right, guys. So we are back home. The boys are back put away. Coda's outside. Cooper's upstairs. We're gonna let these kitties go potty. We're gonna get them out of the cage, get them kind of playful, and, and let them know that they're okay where they're at. And then we're gonna bring the boys down and slowly introduce them. And we'll see how this goes. I'm pretty excited, but uh, here we go. First first, put them in the litter box. Okay. Of course she's first. Is she gonna know to go? Can they all use it at the same time? Look at them. They're all, they're all being so adventurous now. They weren't even coming out of the crate earlier. Look yeah. at this guy. He keeps trying to. He, oh, he's making an escape. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's so cute. He keeps escaping. He's just a little runt. You can't blame it on him. All right. So go ahead and set him in there. Close the door. Okay. We'll Don't let him do their first. thing. We're gonna give him a little bit of a uh, little bit of privacy. They are supposed to already be litter trained, even though they were only picked up a couple days ago. That's that's insane. Cats to me. are so easy. It took a couple. Honestly, I want to say ah, I was gonna say a couple weeks. I don't think it was a couple weeks. I would say it was like four to five days of coop. So I guess I guess that's that's understandable. Coop, I felt like was really really quick. He's kind of the man. But uh, Coop anyway. Asked to go outside, but sometimes we would be late because he didn't like to go down the stairs of the apartment. <laughs> you had to carry him. All right, yeah. so we're gonna give him a little bit of privacy, and then it's playtime. Should I give him some water? <laughs> They're so cute. None of them are wanting to go potty though. They just want to play. Oh, that's okay. Oh, you want some loving too? Chelsea's bringing him some water. These guys are just so sweet. Oh. 
little short. Off to the races again. So this guy is the runt. What was his name again? He's the Sansa. 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 I think this was the key here, Chels. I think they were super, super thirsty. They were thirsty. All right. I oh, I feel bad. Thing. Yeah, the, the dish, the dish is too small. We can't get all four of them in there. Poor God. Dish number two coming in. On the back side. I don't know if anybody's gonna notice that. We've got some little kitty food in there as well. Yummy. These guys have a nice, a nice meal. They're all rested up. They're gonna be ready for playtime. You better be careful. They're gonna be wild childs. I'm kind of excited. Bryn, what are you doing over here by yourself? Why are you off by yourself, buddy? You are hungry? Huh? Yeah. I would say he's probably the least social out of the four of them, from what I've noticed. He was the one that was always in the back of the uh the carrier and stuff. Yeah. You're a good boy still. <laughs> we were just talking about how these guys, some of their mannerisms, they look like drunk humans. They're just like, they're kind of wibbly wobbly and they can't really quite function like they should yet. It's kind of like when you're, you're inebriated. What up, homegirl? You all done? Yeah? This guy's still eating. Oh no, she's going back for some more. Bryn keeps chasing his tail. And Jon Snow is just chilling. I think he's falling asleep sitting up. Is he? <laughs> yeah. So in, <laughs> this is so cute. Really <laughs> in case you can't tell what's going on, uh, our girl Aria had a little piece of kitty litter outside of the box, and she was playing with it like it was a toy. Apparently Arya has decided she wants to fight with me now. She was done with picking fights. Oh, she's picking fights on everybody. Literally everybody. She was picking so many fights on Bryn over here. And then she decided to come and pick on me. Why? Why are you being so mean? They had said that she was a troublemaker and I can totally see that. She's the one climbing everything, flipping out, going crazy, instigating these fights. Hold on, hold on, go to season. Coda, this is Coda's first time seeing a kitty. Oh, kitty took off. This is Coda's first time seeing it. So we, we purposefully had it over here so he can't really see it. Now he kind of can. Okay, Coda, you just, you save that energy. You save it. We're gonna play with him a little bit. And then you're gonna- Bryn is the MVP of the night. He's gonna have the first potty here. We got Sansa going potty. Good boy, a good, good girl. I think Sansa's a girl. Yes. I'm pretty sure Sansa's the girl. The two stripy ones are the girls. Yeah. Hey, Arya, will you go potty? Will you go potty for us? Because then we can let you out and you can go play. She just loves climbing to the top of the cage. It's so crazy. Oh, oh, she kind of got her leg stuck there. It's all right. She climbs up and then she climbs down. What do you think? Can we let him out? I'm scared, but let's do it. So our plan here is just to kind of let them out, let them free roam a little bit, let them do their thing, be themselves. Uh, we can block off the stairway here, make sure they don't go up the stairs. We have all of the doors downstairs closed, so they're not gonna be able to get into anything that they shouldn't. And I mean, they can just free roam around here. We'll definitely be able to find them. And that way they can kind of get comfortable with the space, 
get acclimated. Then after that, we're gonna bring them back in the kennel. We're gonna bring the boys out, let the boys sniff them through the kennel just so they're, they're kind of safe and stuff like that. And then hopefully if all goes well, we can let them out with the boys and I don't know. What do you think? Do you think they're gonna let the boys know what's up? You think uh, they're gonna they boss them around? I'll tell them exactly what's up. Hey, doofus. Doofus climbing the wall, you're free. The door's open, you guys are free. You're free to go roam. There you go, she's got the right idea. How is that comfortable? Come on, hey. Cats are supposed to like boxes, right? Here we go. We've got an extra box, luckily. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> They're so cute when they get off to their little prance. Their little prance run. Yeah, the two girls are out. The two boys are just chilling in there. We got one in the box. Oh. You found the box? No, no. This is our first interaction. What's up, Coda? Hey, Coda, look. What is this? Oh, hey, no. No, we don't do that. I think we have all four on the loose here. They've all kind of got a little bit of confidence. I have three accounted for. Three, okay. Where? Where's the fourth one, John? He might be over under here. I know they liked over under here. Let's check down here. John Snow found a box. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there goes the runt. What's Runty's name? I feel bad calling him Runty. Is that rude? I would be really upset if somebody was calling me by my size all the time. Just plain fearless. She thinks this is her house. Nobody else has tried to get on the couch or do anything. Little dude just climbed the love sack. These guys are insane. Oh my God. This is a mountain compared to him. That's literally 10 times his size. That was impressive, little buddy. I'm not going to lie. You know what I say? Let's check out some of these toys. We've got some cool toys. Actually, tomorrow we'll have better toys. But like these, these make a lot of noise. We've got a feather. We've got some mice. I think we got to try this thing out right here. Let's see what this is all about. This, I kind of want to just tape this to my camera and then run around with it. I might try that. All right, buddy, you want to come meet the kitties? He's sniffing the box, Dakota. but there's a whole crate full of kitties right here. Coda, look, look at the kitties. Look, buddy. Hey, look. They're nice. There they are. Are they nice kitties? Yeah. Good boy. <coughs> no. Dakota, we don't need to bark at them. <laughs> We don't need to bark at them, big boy. They're way more scared of you than you are of them. Trust me, okay? Sansa, the I little think he runt. Feels bad. Carter, come here. Come say hi. Sit. This is your kind. This is your people. Be nice to them. Good boy, Coda. That's a nice kitty. Boy, Koda. That's nice. He keeps looking at you like, is this okay? Good boy. Good boy, Koda. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> he scares way too easily. Koda, come on. Good boy. 
You got this. These are your kind. I guess it's always have a, good to have a dog that runs away than like is aggressive, but this is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good boy, sit. No. Sit. It's not going to chase you. I'm going to chase you. Good boy, stay. Good boy. We're not. <laughs> this is what he wants. This, it's not a he wants to be chased. That's his favorite <laughs> game in the world is he wants to be chased. Cat is like, what the heck? <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> oh man. You're a good boy. Alright, Chelsea, slowly bring him closer. You're a good boy. That's a nice kitty. <laughs> so, I'm sure most of you guys that watch this series know, but that's not an aggressive bark at all or aggressive growl. <laughs> Koda doesn't even have that in his body. This is like his like playful, come chase me, come play with me. He wants to be, he wants the kitten to chase him, but he's not gonna do that. Are you ready to meet the kittens, Coop? What do you think? Do you think you can handle it? I think you can, let's go. Come on. Whew. Here we go. Crazy Coop, coming down. Be nice. Be nice, Coopy. Imagine being locked upstairs and then coming down to this and not knowing this is in your house. Aria's like the pack leader. His tail is just a going. Aww. You're doing a good job, Coop. I think if you breed a little bit less aggressively, you might not scare them quite as much. He's just so excited. He breathes like a pig when he gets excited. We just need to calm him down. Coop, come here. Come here. Shh. Have some chill. Have some chill. Good boy. We can be nice and calm. You're being nice. You just need to calm down. Look at Aria, she is really into Cooper right here. What what are they, Coop? What is that? You've never met them before. Good boy. Are they nice? Do you want to try to meet one in person? Do you want to try to touch one? Meet one outside of the cage? Do you think you guys could be friends? Okay, Coop, meet Sansa. Sansa, meet Coop. Let's see how this goes. What do you think? Oh, it's like he knows he's little. Is this Koopy's built-in daddy skills that he lays down and he's gentle with the young? Good boy. Hey, good. That's very nice, Coop. Code is over there like, I still don't trust these dudes. Arya's playing with his tail. It's a built-in cat toy over there. It's gonna keep him entertained all night. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's meeting little Santa. Oh, you're so sweet, Coop. You're so gentle, I'm proud of you. Oh. He's laying down in like the submissive pose. Oh, good boy, Coop, I didn't mean to scare you when I stood up. Good boy. That's what nice boys do. Are you submitting to the cat? Are you showing them you're nice? Nice, Coopy boy. He made his way to Dakota. Dakota, be nice. Good boy, I'm proud of you. You didn't bark at him. Little guy, you gotta stop running away. Oh gosh, there he goes again. What do you think, Coda? He's awfully small, isn't he? He's just doing the butt sniff test. That's what they've all gotta do. Oh. Look at the size difference between the two of them. Oh, he's rubbing up against him too. What a good kitty.
Come here. It's okay. She's just she's just playing with your tail. She's just playing with your tail, buddy. Okay, I think Aria wants out really, really bad, so we'll try her again. Come here, Aria. Come here. What do you think? What do you think? This is another oh, one. Hey, Coop. Look. It's another kitty. Hi, kitty. <laughs> I love how his first reaction is to lay down. He's a good boy. You're so good. He's You're so sweet. Good boy. Oh, she just wants to play with his tail. I feel bad for him. That tail looks like one of those feather things no, that kitties love. No, it's all right. Good boy. It's okay. It's okay. She just goes immediately back to the tail. Good boy, Coop. He doesn't like that. No, no, no. She, she can hold her own. Two big dogs, and she's just doing her thing. She's doing whatever she wants to do. She is not worried about it in the slightest. She's been running around the kitchen just doing whatever she wants. Good boy. What, you want her to come play? What do you think, Coda? Is she cute? You think she's cute? You think you might want to keep her? No. She is so ridiculously fast. I've been chasing her all over this house, trying to get footage for you guys. And the minute that she wants something else, she just bolts like lightning. She juke cut out. He's looking for her over there. <laughs> She's still over here, buddy. Hi, baby. You guys are crazy. Could you imagine being an infant, basically? And climbing something three times your height, and then just hanging from it. And having a sassy mouth. Gosh. Koda, dude, she likes you, she's into you. Just let it happen. So we now have all four kittens out of the kennel. I didn't know if we were gonna be able to make this happen, but the boys are being good. Koopy's just laying down. Sometimes they'll come over and say hi to him, climb all over him, stuff like that. He doesn't seem to mind. Aww. I think this is pretty much what we're gonna be doing for the rest of tonight. We're just gonna kinda hang out, play with the kitties, Introduce the dogs to him. Kubi's getting excited about this one. Oh, they're chasing him. But yeah, we're just gonna be hanging out tonight, having a good time. Tomorrow's gonna be a fun day because we are gonna go to PetSmart. We're gonna pick up some even better toys, maybe a cat tower. I don't know what we're gonna do, but uh, you guys are gonna see that in next week's episode. So uh, we'll see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Coop and Coda for being such good boys and getting to know the kitties. Good job, girl. Lived out your dream, if not only for a day. How many thumbs up to keep one? <laughs> no, no, we're not, we're not playing that game. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.